comes to this, you better live out how you spit it Or be equivalent to subtraction, I give you the difference A drum full of work and a tank full of gas That's yeah. the soul. Hey, how's it going? This is Ed Lee. I'm here for NYC Street Legends, here with NYC Street Legend MC Nautilus right here. Here today to talk about Anarchist Black Cross. Ooh, anarchy. Ooh, what is, what, scary. <laughs> what is Anarchist Black Cross? Uh, we're basically just a federation of, of anarchists who, who organize together and okay. uh, do various things. I mean, I can't speak for it because I'm just part of it. I... I got involved with it uh, two and a half years ago, okay. so it's just a, it's a cool way to to get involved in in supporting like a good cause um, okay. that that I think is is low low maintenance you know in a way. Um, so what so, does um what does ABC or Anarchist Black Cross? What do they guys? What do you guys do? One of the most. Uh, the biggest presence that ABC has in New York City is the bi-weekly uh, letter writing, pr prisoner support, political prisoner support letter writing. Um, and what it is is we just meet on a Tuesday night uh, every other week, and we focus on one, two, or four prisoners in a rotating roster of okay. 100 plus political prisoners within this country and we write letters to them we sometimes will meet their lawyers their support teams they come and, and fill us in on the case uh, we get updates before we start writing about what's going on uh, in the country and around the around the world uh, just shit that you will not see like in the mainstream media um, and just keep keep informed keep in the loop like what's going on uh, and we get to eat, like, uh, they have really good food, so they'll feed you, Sounds all good. you gotta do is come write a letter, um, and learn, learn about what's going on, so the first time I went, I, I remember I, I learned about the MOVE, the MOVE organization, and, uh, how they got firebombed, and I was just like, what? When did that happen, you know, and then, if it wasn't for them, I, I would have been kept in the dark, you know, like, learn your history, um, there's actually a great documentary about it called uh, "Let the Fire Burn," and we support some of those people who are who are in jail to this day. The Move Nine. Um, it's just really sad what's what happened, and you know it's not a coincidence that I didn't know about it. You know, like somebody, my teachers didn't know about it probably. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, some somebody is uh willfully suppressing it, or uh people are just too complacent and. I never want to be like just will like ignorant like if I can help it. Yeah. So it's a good place to to get informed and get a lot of information that you don't know that you don't know. And that's sure. like that's the scariest part, being like completely oblivious that you're in the dark, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um so besides better writing campaign, uh what other things does uh ABC do? There's a lot of fundraising that goes in cuz you know if you're a prisoner you have to, you have a lot of legal fees. Okay. So we do a, a war chest um that that raises money for for various prisoners that that really need it or or old ones or new ones. Um and there's also a uh a mailing of of the newsletters that we do. So we mail uh prisoners who want it like we mail them uh, the the updates that we get during the meeting, you know, that's that's all money right there. That's that's postage, that's labor, and um, people do it in ABC, and it's it's really again, it's like a labor of love. So, um, where do these letters go? Do they get into the warden? Do they get into the prisoners themselves? It depends on what what's going on at that specific time. If a prisoner okay. has has told us like they're not getting treatment or something, or they're they're being discriminated against. We can do mobilization and, and write the warden to put pressure on the system. Uh, but most of the time, we, we just write letters to prisoners because prison is a really lonely, dark place. It's not glor glory at all. The people who, who are in there, a lot of them have been framed. A lot of them have been entrapped. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them maybe did actions that were that they believe that we're right and and 
from the case, if you look at somebody who, who did something, uh, did a, did something, let's just say, defended themselves against like a racist police and went to jail for it, they're in there because they're being repressed and, and you're not really hearing about that. And these are real people with, with real lives. So it's the greatest, you know, you're not, a lot of these people are also in solitary confinement too, which is fucking torture. You know what I'm saying? Like hu humans need need some sort of interaction with other human beings. People so. shown to go mad after a long period. These are like these are the strongest people that I've ever like interacted with. I've never spoken to them face to face, right? But like writing letters to them and just knowing what they've they're going through and have gone through, I can say like I'm not worthy. You know what I'm saying? Like these people. The shit that they go through every fucking day for like years, decades, is heartbreaking. So what we do is we provide a chance for them to escape the cell, at least mentally. Um, we ask people to just come and, and, and maybe sh strike up a conversation, sure. develop a relationship with, with one prisoner, you know. At least learn about them and, and don't forget them because a lot of times the government just assumes like they're just going to run away and no one's going to remember them. But that's not true. There are many people who are fighting tirelessly for for justice for these people, you know, for their freedom, at least for their – to lessen their, their torture in, in prison. Because cause a lot of times, you know, you hear America say like China has political prisoners. Yeah. Iran has political prisoners. North Korea – and no, and that's just we have the highest incarceration rate in like uh, the world. We have the highest incarceration rate, and we have political prisoners. I yeah. think that's a a huge crux of uh of the argument, right? Yes, it's straight We're, hypocrisy. Right, straight hypocrisy. Yeah. It's like, oh, we we don't we don't do thought crime. Yes, you we do, and we have people still alive today, and many who have passed who are a testament to that. So that's what we do. Um, we try to. We try to write as much as we can in the letter to just describe like our lives, and we can ask them questions. But obviously, you know, it's it's about giving giving them. It's very tiring to for them to always respond to you, right? So you want to give them something. You want to tell them a story, a funny story, or, or they may not be allowed to. You can accept the letters. Their their human sure, rights have been sure, totally uh, thrown out the window. They're totally. So you have so the 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 letter writing. You know, you. You get to learn about what is acceptable, like what's etiquette, and um, how to protect yourself because it could be you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you you're you're much better. Uh, you're much more aware about what you put out there, and especially now with internet and shit. Like you see people like putting pictures of themselves, like selling drugs and shit, or or something like that. It's just like completely. It's completely just you're putting yourself as Dumb. a vulnerable. Yeah, yeah you're just vulnerable. Yeah, don't do that. So, but a lot of people don't recognize, like, what other stuff they do is vulnerable, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, text messaging and, and stuff like that. So so it's a good way to constantly remind yourself that, you know, loose lips cause lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, loose is like... What are some of the determining criteria that um, the organization decides to decide, like, you know, which prisoners they want to support? Yo, that's a good question, man. Like, we support anything that... We deem as, as political in nature, okay. so we we deal with a lot of you know black liberation, um, okay. earth and animal liberation, um, just like anti-fascist, uh, any type of like anti-homophobic right. actions, you know what I'm saying? Um, and nati native struggles. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's it doesn't just have to be anarchist. Obviously, it's because because a lot of we we believe that like prison is all political again um so but these people are in there for very different reasons than let's just say someone who like a serial killer or something like that right, right? right um somebody went in defending themselves or or property damage for instance right. like uh how does it make sense that someone who does property damage gets more time than a serial rapist, something like that, right? Yeah. There's like mismatched priorities. Um, we have a lot of like Islam, uh, Islamophobic, yeah. uh, you know, due to the patriarch, um, like just discrimination uh, against Muslims right now. It's very popular. So we we do support with that, 
and it's it's important to to understand um in the end what you're doing is matters you're just oh, you're yeah, not just writing definitely. a you're not just writing a letter you're letting people around you know that like if you went in someone will be there for you and yeah. and write you a letter a lot know? of people say that they feel like they can't do anything they feel powerless but they put themselves into the position, you know? You decide to take power into your own hands and do something about a problem that you see is, you know... Is, and I think there's anybody who's really paying attention can really see that there's a big problem with our prison system here. And I really give you props on that. Um, I remember you said that on Thursdays. It was on Thursdays? It's on Tuesdays. Oh, Tuesdays. My bad. Mm -hmm. Starts with a T. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where do we? Where would we go? Where would we... What time would we be there to, to get involved with this program? Yeah, it's uh, 7.30. 7.30. Um, and right now the location is actually being changed, so maybe I have to like put it in the description. Definitely, we'll do that down below. Uh, but it's it usually it's like an hour and a half, two hours. You know, you, you get updated and you want to write a thoughtful letter. Is there a website where people can go to like find a There's a mailing locations? list, and okay. there's a website. I believe there's a website as well. Okay, so I'll put that information right there as well. Word. That's awesome. ABC, awesome. Yeah. Thanks a lot for telling us about uh, this very important organization, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Yeah. Thanks again. MC Nautilus right here. Peace. On NYC Street Legends. Have a good one. Later.